Hello Aries, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the karmic lessons for you. We're going to see what the person in your life is teaching you on a spiritual level when it comes to your karmic lessons. We'll also be tapping into the blessings and rewards that will come in for you for learning those karmic lessons. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are a cross watcher, this could definitely be what this person is teaching you or what your person is teaching you on a spiritual level and the blessings and rewards that will come in for you when you apply those lessons. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of the current situation between you and this person is the seven of pentacles. So someone is plotting right now. I feel as though this person is plotting on how they can grow with you. This person had a lot of different options, but I feel as though you are the one. Okay, you're the one. I also feel as though they've been evaluating things, all of everything that the two of you went through to get together. Um also they're trying to figure out how to get you to invest with them after possibly after some type of issue ending or even um after some type of issue ending or some type of situation that slowed this relationship down when it comes to this person, yeah, see, they're wanting to reunite because they see you as wish fulfillment. This is someone that is also very, I don't know why I heard strategic, but I feel as though they're coming back toward you in a very strategic way. This person, I feel as though you've known them from a, for a while, okay? You've known them for a while. I also feel as though for some of you, this person may have reunited with someone from their past. But now at this point, they're realizing they want a relationship with you. But this person is so egotistical. It's like they're very selfish. Also, for some of you, the main reason why this person wants a relationship with you is because they're selfish. It's all for their own um, egotistical benefits, okay? So, yeah, some of you definitely ended a relationship with this person. I feel as though there's something about this relationship that changed you, that transformed you. Some of you may have ended things or you're wanting to end things because this person is very secretive. I also feel as though they kept you in a state of confusion. For some of you, there may have been a secret that came out in regards to this person dealing with someone else. For others of you, you may find out a secret in regards to this person. But um, yeah, this other person that they were dealing with, that person is fed up with them and they've actually closed out a cycle with this person or they will be. So the other person they got involved with has learned a lot of lessons as well. And so it looks like they've either, either ended things with this person or... They will be ending things. I do feel as though this person is watching you. Okay. For some of you, um, they may gossip or talk about things that happen between the two of you. But they're going to be reaching out to you for a new start. For some of you, they're having some financial issues or someone else that they were dealing with may have abandoned them. I feel as though they were using this other person for money. Maybe even a place to live. But they were still um, looking at other options. The two of you don't really get along all that well. Okay. There may have been competition or other lovers in the mix. This person took way too long to give you what it is that you deserve. So now you don't even look at them the same anymore. Some of you don't even want another chance with this person. You're just wanting to turn your back on the situation and look forward. Because you are aware that this person just says things to keep you stuck. I feel like they're very good with their words or very strategic, but you're healing. Okay. You are healing. Mm. This is someone, like I said, they got involved with someone else and that other person is fed up with them. That other person has either cut them out or will be cutting them out. That's crazy. Even the other person is tired of their crap. Hmm. So, yeah, for some of you, they're going to reach out to you in order to reconcile things. Now, when it comes to um, your lessons, okay, spirit wants you to know that you are protected and divinely guided. 
So spirit wants you to protect your energy, protect yourself from people that are just wasting your time. Also know that things are happening the way that they're supposed to. Spirit also wants you to know that this person is teaching you the karmic lesson of reprogramming from limited beliefs that you were taught possibly growing up. So for some of you, there's some type of belief that you've, um, that was kind of programmed into you growing up and spirit wants you to reprogram from that. For some of you, it's the way that you make money. For others of you, it's like wasting your time with people. Like you may have grown up around people that were dealing with people that weren't of their highest good or people that were playing games with them, holding on to people that didn't serve them or something of that nature. But there's something that you saw growing up, um, something in your environment that kind of subconsciously programmed you with some type of limited belief, okay? Spirit is also saying that there's going to be more money coming in for you as your re reward for learning this karmic lesson. Um, it's just very important for you to know who to invest in and who not to. Because for some of you, like there's someone that just wasted your time. They wasted your time. So let's see what else comes out. We're going to be using the karmic reward set by Oracle Mystique, the Avatar High Priestess. You guys definitely check out her channel. I will leave a link to her channel as well as a link to her Etsy shop just in case you want to get these cards. All right. So give me more messages, spirit. Give me more in regards to the karmic lessons and rewards and blessings in regards to this situation for Aries and or any cross watchers. Give me the current lessons blessings and rewards in regards to this situation spirit two more shuffles and guys also make sure that you check out your sun moon rising and venus signs because that could give you even more clarity in regards to your situation all right so let's see what else comes out we have acceptance all right so with this energy i feel as though this person was teaching you something in regards to acceptance some of you were accepting things that you did not deserve you may not have um protected yourself from this person as well as you should have in the past okay some of you um you may have grown up in an environment where people didn't want to accept help or like you know they they may have been the type that taught you on a subconscious level to get it on your own or to make things happen on your own just not to accept help or you know or something of that nature there's something about acceptance or like i said before where someone around you were was accepting things that they shouldn't have been accepting in regards to the relationship that they were in okay and give me more spirit in regards all right i apologize guys my camera cut out give me more spirit in regards to the lessons blessings oh wow you have a few that came out all right, so we have um, strengthening, strengthening your spiritual gifts. We also have release from burdens and we have patience. All right, so when it comes to surrendering, I'm sorry, strengthening your spiritual gifts, Spirit is saying that um, this connection was brought into your life in order for you to strengthen your spiritual gifts. That's why it's so important for you to protect yourself from people that do not serve your highest good. I also feel as though one of your blessings is being released from burdens. So there's going to be a lot more money coming into your life for learning these karmic lessons. I also feel as though you need to release yourself from any person or anything that is a burden in your life. And also patient. Spirit wants you to be very patient when it comes to reprogramming yourself from those limited beliefs that you were taught. As well as patience when it comes to um, upgrading your financial situation. I feel as though it's going to come in for you. There's going to be a lot of abundance. But spirit wants you to be patient with that. Patient with that. Okay. Give me one more card, spirit, in regards to the lessons, blessings. And rewards give me one more card spirit thank you transforming generational curses to general gifts all right so one a lot of you were ordained to break a generational curse all right in your in your bloodline and in order to do that spirit is saying you're gonna have to trust 
what the divine has in store for you. Okay. So you have to trust the divine and trust what the divine has in store. Because for some of you, I feel as though one of those generational curses is accepting things less than you deserve or less than you're worthy of. Okay. Know that, um, God has other things or better things in store for you. So regardless of what's going on in your life, you have to trust the divine because spirit is upgrading your life. You're going to be receiving upgrade after upgrade after upgrade. But in order to do that, you're going to have to move on from something and free yourself from um, something or someone that you're afraid of losing or something or someone that has some type of hold on you. Also, spirit wants you to forgive yourself in regards to maybe not showing yourself that you know your worth or not showing the universe that you know your worth. Um, for some of you, you just accept it way more than, than you should have, okay? But spirit is saying you're worth so much more, okay? And you need to put out the energy that you know you're worth because with how things work, if you accept things less than you deserve, well, how the universe takes that is, okay, well, Aries is okay with the things less than, than they deserve. So let's send the lesser things over here. Let's send things that are unworthy over here to Aries because they're accepting those things. The universe is black and white. It doesn't understand gray areas. It doesn't understand, okay, well, Aries may be putting up with things that is not of their highest good or things that, you know, is um, less than their worth. But Aries wants, wants better things. Aries does want things in their life that is of value, okay? Or, you know, equivalent to their worth. That's how it works. So Spirit wants you to forgive yourself for accepting anything less than you deserve. Or either, even if some of you have been going back to someone or something that you know you need to free yourself from. But Spirit also wants you to stand up for yourself, okay? Stand up for what you what you deserve mean say what you mean and mean what you say okay and it's going to bring a lot of breakthroughs in your life and you're going to be released from any type of blockages or distractions so some of you there's someone or something that's distracting you from your breakthrough in life but once you release that blockage there's going to be a glow up and there's going to be a lot of abundance which is going to bring you a peace of mind but you got to set up stronger boundaries okay all right, so Aries and or cross watchers, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care, be safe. Until next time, bye.